we've discussed monomials and then we discussed negative exponents and now we're going to take a look at rational exponents and so we're asked here to graph and analyze each function describe the domain range intercepts in behavior continuity and where the function is increasing or decreasing and the way I'm going to go about this first I want to just break down what these functions actually mean with these rational exponents then we'll jump over to the calculator and actually graph them make sure we know how to graph them properly and then I'm going to take screenshots of those graphs and come back and we'll look at domain range intercepts in behavior continuity and increasing decreasing so in this first function here we got f of x equals 2 x raised to the power of 3 fourths and this really is equal to 2 times the fourth root of x cubed so in a rational exponent what's in the denominator is the root we're taking and what's in the numerator is what power we're raising the term to uh, underneath the root now in this second expression we got 10x or a function f of x equals 10x raised to the power of 5 thirds and so again this is equal to 10 times the cube root of x to the fifth power all right well let's move to the calculator and then we'll come back and analyze the graphs all right well let's graph these two functions so let's see we're going to graph the first one which was 2x raised to the power of 3 fourths carrot 3 over 4 and I probably need to go in here and make some window adjustments I think I could just take this back to default well we got negative 10 and 10 and a scale of 1 and a scale of negative 10 and 10 with a scale of 1 all right let's take a look at the graph okay so it definitely looks like an even root function square almost like a square root function except it's a fourth root and again we'll come back in and analyze the data here in a minute but let's go graph the second function which was 10 and I might add right here if it was in parentheses 10x to the 5 thirds I'd have to put that in 10x in parentheses but it's just the it's just the variable that's raised to that power and let's see I know I might have to make some window adjustments to really see this where it looks right so I'm going to change this to negative 3 and y max of, I mean x max of 3 x scale of 0.5 uh, y minimum of negative 40 that 10 times is going to boost that y value up pretty high 40 and I'm going to use a y scale of 10 and we're taking the cube root so it looks very familiar to a, a cubic function all right we're going to go in here now and we are going to analyze the graphs all right here we are with the graph of f of x equals 2x raised to the power of 3 fourths and so when i look at the domain well the domain looks like it is equal to and would include zero out to infinity and the range also I don't see anything below zero so it would also be zero out to infinity and intercept well we've got an intercept at the origin so both the uh, y and x intercepts are at zero well let's see in behavior I only got right end in behavior I don't have any left end because it just stops right there at uh, zero so we could say that the limit as x approaches infinity 
f of x or y is going to equal infinity. Uh, it's continuous from where it starts out to infinity, but it starts there at zero. So it's continuous on zero, including zero, out to infinity. And it is increasing. No decreasing in this thing. It is increasing from zero to infinity. All right, well, let's take a look at the second graph. Now let's look at the second function, which is 10 times x raised to the power of 5 thirds. So the domain, well, I don't see any restriction on the domain. It's going from negative infinity out to infinity. And the range, I also don't see any restriction. So it's negative infinity out to infinity. And like the other one, I do have some intercepts. But they're at the origin, so both the x and y intercepts are at zero. Now, I do have left end and right end behavior. So, on the left end behavior, we have a limit as x is approaching negative infinity, f of x is going to equal negative infinity. That's our left end behavior. And our right end behavior is going to be that we've got a limit as x is approaching infinity, f of x is going out towards infinity. Uh, it is continuous. Continuous. O-U-S. For all real numbers. And we're increasing all the way. So we are increasing this time from negative infinity out to infinity. So there we go. There's a preview of rational exponents, analyzing them as to domain, range, intercept, in behavior, continuous continuity, and whether it's increasing or decreasing.